Today, we're doing a skin cancer screening. We ask about personal history of melanoma or skin cancer, as well as family history. So we're gonna start with your back, since that's the hardest area for you to see. We'll take a look, and I'm gonna scan down your back to look for any moles. We do have a few tiny moles actually down here. This is actually a benign mole, and I'm okay with continuing to monitor this area. We'll start with the hands, and specifically the nails. Moles can actually appear in the nail bed as dark brown streaks, and so it's very important, especially if you get frequent nail polish, to check when you remove the nail polish for dark brown streaks in the nail bed. And we'll move up the arm here. Good, a few very normal looking moles. Palm of the hand looks very clear. A tiny little mole right there, we'll take a look. Now we'll take a look at the upper chest and the shoulders here, including the neck. Now say if this mole had any asymmetric patterns, irregular borders, or colors that didn't match the rest of your moles, then I would potentially do a skin biopsy. So now we'll look at the head and neck. I'm going to actually start with this ear. We look at the full ear and also behind the ear. I'm going to move to the face now. We'll look at the temples and the lateral cheeks here. I'll have you close your eyes. Great. Good, a few very normal looking spots on the face. And we'll move to the scalp now. The scalp looks very healthy and I don't see any evidence of moles or spots. Not a lot of moles down here. We will take a look at the feet here. There's a few moles down here, very, very small. Again, looking very regular. Believe it or not, moles can occur at any spot, including between the toes. We'll take a look underneath, no moles here. Now we'll take a look at the backs of the legs. Good, everything looks very good down here. 